I'm Rob McMahon from eShare. I'm presenting to you today on our Meeting Squared application that is deployed into Office 365 SharePoint Online and facilitates agenda-led meetings and access to information. What you can see in front of you is a standard SharePoint site. This has been set up for a board of trustees we can see within a SharePoint site you can have a lot of different applications, access to um, other applications such as Power BI, document libraries and notebooks to collaborate and to capture information. Our Meeting Squared application can be accessed through an app part and by clicking on this app part I am then taken through to the web view of our solution where an administrator for a committee or for a team can build out the agendas for meetings and access collateral such as documents, provide links and decisions and this will then be accessed by an individual through an app on their Windows iOS or Android device. What you can see here is um, the ability to be able to create a new meeting group. A meeting group would be taken from the existing people who have access to the SharePoint site. So depending on a new committee or team or project that has to be set up to address a certain need, a new meeting group could be set up. They could have their own SharePoint site and their own Meeting Squared deployment, but in certain cases you can create a new committee um, to look at a certain, certain topic. Here we can also um, identify different people who can have access to different areas. Creating a meeting is really easy to do. Here I can come through and I can select the group that I'm looking for. Here we have an innovation council. Here we can um, identify a time, a time zone, we can put a We have the ability to choose a location as well. And we have the ability to put in web conference links. For those of you who are already using Skype for business, you will be able to come in and also copy this URL. You can paste this in here for easy access for your participants. By saving this, we've done the first step of the process, which is to build out the details of the meeting itself. By clicking on the Show More button, I can now start to build out the content for my meeting itself. We have a very easy import function. Here we can import uh, the agenda items from a previous meeting. We can choose the different elements of what we are here to discuss today. We can pull that information in. In addition, what we can do is also copy the attendees from a previous meeting and pull those through. We can add attendees as well and give them guest status. And they will receive a notification to join the meeting as well. It's very easy to be able to add new agenda items. very easily we are able to move agenda items around to their required area. You can see next to each agenda item we have the ability to upload documents, attach a link or make a yes no decision or vote next to each agenda item. You can either upload a document via a browse function Alternatively, 
what you can do is drag and drop from a folder within your network the documents to their specific area of interest within the agenda itself. One of the key functions is the ability to put in a URL. Working within a digital workplace, a lot of the different areas that you would need to access and the technologies that you would be accessing are web-based and would have a URL themselves. So here you can create a link to a third-party web-based system, alternatively back into your SharePoint Online environment or to a document to work in a live environment. So very easy to be able to create a link back into another web-based technology. The last function that we can do related to a meeting is a decision itself. We can choose a date range for the decision to be captured. And we can also add users who need to make that vote. We can then add that vote and we can see that is set in the agenda itself. Once we have developed an agenda for a meeting itself, we have the ability to either download that pack as a PDF document or into a OneNote file. There's the ability to add an agenda uh, or to, to download the agenda for the capturing of minutes and there is the ability to download an iCal uh, document or, or file to be added to your calendar. With every meeting will come actions. Very easy here to be able to document an action or an individual and to assign that to an individual themselves. Once we are ready to publish this meeting which means that all of the users who have access to the site will get a notification letting them know that there's content for them to access. We can do so by pushing the publish button. We can write a comment such as So all users will know that there's still a document outstanding. When that document does become available, you can always republish and therefore people will know that another document has been added. At this time now, everybody is starting to receive notifications via their email that they've been granted access to a meeting, that they um, can download or they can add it to their calendar. Um, any actions or decisions that they are asked to participate in will also be done via a notification themselves. As people start to make um, decisions, they will start to be populated within the back end of the solution here. And the same goes for actions. As actions are completed, they will all be registered in this area over here, providing a transparent and accountable uh, reports of that meeting itself. This is the web view of the Meeting Squared application for administrators. Uh, some users will access this information from time to time, but mostly used by the administrators. Please look at our video on the applications themselves from a user perspective. Thank you very much.